Good Monday morning. We're on a little adventure this morning. <laughs> yeah. I get a call on Friday night, and uh, this guy calls and he says, uh, I got a tractor that I'm not using just sitting would you be interested in buying it? Because they know we, we buy and sell some equipment. And uh, so I called Bo and Dane up. I said, should we go take a look? And we'll take you with. <laughs> oh boy. The poplar trees are growing up around there. Hmm. Three point. Maybe about the only good thing on it. So it looks like 7110. I think he's been sitting here a while. Yeah. Oh, we're missing. Oh, there it is. Oh. That's the grill. No hmm. Weight. No weights. No weights either. Looks like it had weights. No step. Ooh. Hmm. Yummy! Yeah! <laughs> so what is it? Is it a power shift? Hold it open. I don't want to get trapped in here. Something might eat me. <laughs> I don't want to step on something I'm not supposed to here. Uh. Yeah, 18 speed power shift. Oh, yeah. That's... They had tranny troubles that was... No, she won't start. <laughs> Tie rods are gone. Our steering cylinders are gone. Yeah, he said that. Hey, how's it going, Jake? Good, good. <laughs> Lucky there. <laughs> howdy, howdy. howdy. Can we open this bugger? Oh, oh. open this up back side there. Is there a latch? This probably hasn't been open for a few years. Ain't that the chat? That's... This is a Cummins. You bet. Yep. Magnum. Huh. How many hours are on it? Do you know? 95 to 10. Oh, okay. It was only a Baylor tractor, and then a mixer, you know, probably only... Used it in the mixer a little bit. A little bit. About four years. Not even. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So what's the deal with the... Uh, it had some diesel in the oil? Yep. A little diesel in the oil. Yeah. It was running fine at that time. And then uh, I was going to fix it that spring when we were done. And then uh, today was one cold morning, you know, 30, 40 below. I let it warm up for about, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And then I went to go pull it out of park and it got loose. Hmm. And then it only had uh, 10 forward, I believe. And it's only one and two in reverse, obviously. So I forget which one it was. So we got an engine that's got some something going on with it and then uh then you know, a linkage i'm guessing in the transmission or something i don't know so how did it end up sitting here now you just that's where i came and parked it <laughs> yeah i wanted it out of the way right okay yeah she's been here a while yeah probably <laughs> yeah what is that 10 years i was gonna say a good eight years that's what it's been here eight years yeah yeah well we're gonna have to think about this one a little bit what do you guys think <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back to the farm checked out that 7110 we knew it was gonna be a little rough but uh maybe a little more rough than we thought uh <laughs> you know whenever you get these calls you gotta go look at it right so we're gonna do some some research on obviously the what they're selling for if they're in good shape and then uh also, we're gonna do some some poking around on uh, on the transmission, see what uh, see what can go wrong with that. He says it's he tried using it when it was really cold. Well, all he's got is tenth gear and and two gears in reverse. It's a it's a sixteen speed. It's a sixteen speed power shift. Power shift. Yeah, and uh, and then he said there was a little diesel getting into the oil. Oh yeah, that too. I pulled a dipstick on it. You did. I was gonna ask it was you if way we did. Up on the stick. It was way up on the stick. Well, it's a Cummins too, so either way, bearings don't like that. Right. So when we're running the numbers on this thing, we're gonna have to try figure 
worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, the top end is probably fine, I would say. Depends on if the injectors are stuck from sitting, what type of fuel they had in it, if it's the B20 or if it's just regular, uh, you winter, know. Winter time, winter blend. He did have, probably has winter fuel in it. Yeah, that doesn't have any bio. That doesn't have any B20 in it, so it probably is okay that way. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Assuming the injectors aren't stuck and the fuel is probably going by the injector pump. Yeah, the, the rack. So it's getting into that, that's how it's getting into the crankcase. And then, you know, if we're lucky and the, the cabling on the shifting is just broke or something, is that possible? Well, I don't know if that's cable or not on that one. That's cable. It is cable. Mm -hmm. If the tranny is toast, then it's like, well. It could be something so simple, not saying, but. Because he said he only had a few gears, that's might be a basket case. You pull that tractor out of the weeds and you clean it up a little bit and stuff and I mean it, it makes a big difference when you pull them out of the woods. <laughs> but there was a few other pieces robbed off of it too so you know it's one of them things the guy would have to to go through it and what do you think you guys would uh, would you take on that project or would you just say oh that one needs to sit in the weeds? <laughs> Or you, you don't want my opinion. Uh, or 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 what would you, <laughs> what would you pay for that? Knowing everything you know, what would be your price? What would you offer on something like that if you, if you knew you could fix it and everything? Or would you just say, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take you in that, and we're gonna go check a ditch, and then we're gonna go and try figure out how we're gonna get our air cart that we stored in a, another shed over to here so that way we can hook it onto this and then replace the short hoses that go from the air cart to the back of this and then all done all right grab your boots let's go where the water is coming from. It's coming from the west. Coming from the west. Still coming out of that ridge over there, I suppose. Well, yeah. There's a swamp over there and it's, it's so flat here and it drains, but... Well, that was not what we were thinking. Yeah, well... At least now we know. There's always coffee. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're taking the air drill out. We got to fold it up. Let's go hook onto the air cart. Stagger down. Stagger down. What have? What did you do to our Daner? Me? Yeah, yeah Dane, what I did just you do? Look, looking at it. It's the hatred. It's on uh, Tommy Boy. Or no, Black Sheep. Well, Tommy Boy. What'd you do? Where he shuts the door and he opens the door and it falls off. And he's like, <laughs> what did you do, Richard? <laughs> so you made a mess, I see, all over the ground. Yeah, good thing we didn't wash it yet. In the windshield. Here, I'll show you. Oh, Can't. the big load it was pulling. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, you show them. The Steiger is not being very well, worth its name. See? See, look at that. Whoop. I squeezed the pipe, squeezed the whoop. Yeah, There's the top piece here. So, I guess add that to the list. I'm gonna drive around the shop and pull the radiator off. At least it didn't happen when I was rolling. Out in the field. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then it would have been, Stephanie, what did you do? Then it would have been my fault. I did something to it. But at least now this is Dane's fault. <laughs> Dane wasn't even driving him. Oh, I thought it was you. No. Oh. Mark's fault. Mark's fault. Well, yeah, you he's don't always. Let me drive it, so I'm never gonna fall in love with it. You don't wanna drive it. Nope. <laughs> yeah. We just shut the door now. Open that door. <laughs>
radiators coming out. What kind of setup we got here? We got Jack with the with the log. So you're lifting it up, and then how are you going to get it out? Just key in. Okay, boys. Now, can, can you, you slide it, or is no, there stuff? Then it's it's gonna, when it goes, it's going to go to okay, the bottom. Okay, hold on. You got to tip it for Ready? a little bit. It's catching. Okay, now she's free. Just let her hook on that other side and we'll tip it. Yeah, Just give it. Hook this bottom boot over here so you gotta go forward again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The boot is hooked. You gotta tip forward. Turn it. We got a crane. Just lay it down and then it'll. Jeez. Somebody's had this out. She's been around the block. She's kind of dirty. Right here is where it's leaking. Oh. When we squeeze this, better. When we squeeze this radiator hole, she she leak right here. Oh, right in that seam, huh? Yeah. This is where it's soldered. So they can do it again. Well, now we're headed to the other shed. Go get my tractors. You driving one or am I driving one? You can drive the pickup. Oh, guess so I get you can marks. Drive that one. I'll drive the pickup. Okay. Oh, here comes the big girls. It's big girls coming home. Hey there guys, today's Tuesday. Right now, Bo is working on, uh, he's got the machine jacked up here. I got a couple seals that he's gonna replace. Uh, sometimes we do uh, one a year, like in the spring, we'll have one that's, we'll find that's leaking or whatever. So he's gonna put new seals and bearings in this one and that one. So everything else holds oil nice and, and uh, yeah, we were able to get the, the stuff right from John Deere, RDO down in Fargo had it. So, yeah, he's going to uh, rip into that and get that going. <laughs> Do you want to show them the seals that you're putting in? You show them this special tool you made. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're using it. i, I got to be careful how much torque I put on there. Hey, I, I, I built that tool to uh, take the these round nuts off on the 9400T, and it just so happens it works on on this. I don't think it's a direct fit, but no, it gets it pretty close. Yeah. It's kind of universal because you just you can bend these in or out <laughs> <laughs> depending on what you got. It was a quick deal without any yeah. special tool at the uh, time. The seat, all the stuff is on the bumper, and the new stuff's on the bench over here. Oh, okay. Here's the seals that he's replacing. Right here. So, and bearings. Not a big deal. Just a couple seals and a couple bearings. I'm sure some people are like, or some guys anyway, a lot of maintenance on them tracks. Well, actually they go many, many, many miles and we haven't hardly had to do anything to them other than a little servicing in the spring. So here are the new seals. So these are a dry seal. All right, so the way these work here is this one goes in first, and then this one you stick into the, your hub, and then you slide your hub together, and they go like that. And they're su super machine finish on them. You're not supposed to put anything on them other than just uh, maybe a little hydraulic oil or something like that, just to keep, I mean, they're so, they're so perfect that they actually want to kind of stick together the machine finish on them. It's crazy, see? <laughs> that's how cool it is. But anyway, that's how your seal rides right there like this. So 
this one stays stationary and this one will run in the uh, in your hub when you squeeze them together they they go out and expand and then uh, kind of lock themselves in place it's a little bit of a, a trick to get everything lined up perfectly so you kind of got to know what you're doing but that's that now you know case tractor we have on the farm it's one that uh, dad had bought in the 90s it's a 1270 case I think it's like a 70 or 71 model but the engine on this thing what I just showed you I hadn't started it all winter and that's the way it starts it is it's unbelievable I mean she's getting tired now it's been on auger duty for the last few years and she gets she gets used pretty hard on that 13 inch auger but it's, it still goes. We're just going to use her until she completely grenades or whatever. But we're going to get some stuff moved around here. Uh, we're going to move the planter out. we we'll get this out. We've got an old, uh, old grain truck we've got to get out of the way. And then we can get the RX in here and grab the, the super filter. So that's, uh, that's kind of what we're doing here at the moment. from last fall. Oh, now what? Mm, this piece of junk. wonder if I shouldn't get a battery for it. Probably not one in it. Oh. Well, let's go to the shop and get a battery. So we're moving this old Ford out of the way because we're going to get the Super Coulter out, get that hooked up. Dane hooked up some batteries, a battery, to this thing. Now we're going to see if it starts. Don't sound good. Whew. Ready? Check the oil. I didn't check the oil. Oh, it's okay. Just go with it. It'll be fine. This is Stephanie's silage hauling truck. Yeah, I used to oh, haul huh? silage with this thing. Well, she cut her teeth in driving trucks. Really? I did. Yeah. This is our first truck that you drove. Yeah, shifts like a dream. Why don't you tell them about the story about what you did with it? Well, I went out to the field and got silage and then I dumped it into a yeah, pile well, at the farm. Were you? Were you? I don't know. I was I was dr legal to drive. I would guess I was probably 17, 18 maybe. What's that? 10 speed? Twin stick. Ooh, five and four. Five and three. Five and three. Okay, fire up. pretty squeaky. <laughs> I kind of figured it wasn't going to be a what turnkey. Well, it usually is. We need a shot of gas. We got gas here, Dane. What are you doing with that? Put it in here. What's here? Carburetor. Put a little gas in the carburetor. We got to go to Salo. <laughs> we got to have a break. We got to go stop at the Salo one stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan now? What are we doing? Oh, I know what we did last time. We put air to it. Yeah. It's probably got some snot in there. And we just got to... I pressurized it last time and it, and it, and it got it running. Okay. Are you going to make out with it, Dana? 
I can't get a good kiss on her. <laughs> How's that taste? Well, tastes the worst. <laughs> <laughs> here you know the double and the single it only works for the guy that put it on <laughs> i don't know you know is he doing his two on the right or you know well, is here kind of like a anybody always know you know you always put the i don't think there's a rule of thumb here you got lift you got hitch you got wing and you got biscuit so i want to know where the biscuits are that would be a, a Dane pronunciation. <laughs> Stephanie, start it up and then uh, run your number one. <laughs> What are we doing here, Ivan? Trying to clean off this bottom door for the fertilizer trailer. What would you call this, the slide? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna flip it over, show them this. So that's where, uh, that's the track that the crank runs on. Then it just slides open and shut on the, that blue trailer over there. So I think what you're doing is uh, taking all this, the rust off, right? Yeah. Put the poly back on there. It's pretty good now. It's way better than it was. Well, I'm sure there was quite a bit on there, huh? Oh. She was pitted pretty good. Starting to, it was starting to raise, bubble this uh, poly up, and it was getting very... It was wedging in the slide. Yeah. It's not a... That's the, what happens when you have fertilizer. We should... Uh, if we ever have to do it again, we'll get a piece of stainless. Mm. We don't want to do that. The trailer probably won't last that long. So now we need plow bolts. That's what they used in there. Ten of them. Ten plow bolts. Bolt her back together and she'll be, she'll be ready to go. Yep. That's it for today. We're gonna wrap today up and uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs>